In this Power World video, I bring you an incredible power most players have slept on, which will make that farming or a walk in the park. People loved my Astagon with that lightning strike. People loved my Dig Toys, but I honestly think this one today is probably the best or farming power in the game. Also, do keep in mind this isn't a base working pal. This pal is meant for you to go to any ore site on the map, click a single button, and destroy all rocks in an absolute instant. It is as simple as that. So let's get into it, guys. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy this video, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So this ore mining power, 99% of players completely skipped and didn't even know about it. They didn't realize this was even a thing. And it's quite possibly the best in the game in regards to outside of that base or farming. He is capable of breaking down multiple rocks in quicker fashion than Astagon. Plus the cooldown on the move is quicker. It's quicker than that lightning strike. And it's a lot easier, well I say a lot easier to breed. It's just easier to breed than Astagon is. Okay, so this is Mama Rest. And you're seeing what it's capable of on screen now. This thing is truly, truly a monster. Okay, so the passes here on that Mama Rest and the ones you want are Earth Emperor, Legend, Ferocious and Musclehead. We plan to maximize his attack, meaning when we use this when we use this move, uh, the attack damage, the attack value is as high as it can be, meaning when it comes to farming or it's a walk in the park and it only takes a single hit to break multiple of these ores. And if you can notice by the actual skill being used here, the main destruction of this move is right in front of you. So you can see what you are hitting. So you stand behind multiple ore rocks fire this bad boy off and it just destroys them all leaving you to just collect them it's as simple as that people it really is i uh, saw so the major difference uh, between the two this one and the astagon is mamorous main skill of earth impact has a quicker cooldown than that lightning strike skill uh, used on astagon and it also comes on every mamorous once you level it up astagon and lightning strike you have to breed it into him which can take an absolute while also, Mamura's Saddle is very, very important and it's why it's so good. It basically makes farming ore and even trees more efficient. It reads, improves the player's mining and logging efficiency while riding Mamura's. So yeah. Okay, so let's get into it guys and how we do this. Let's go. So first things first, you need to get yourself a dire howl with both Ferocious and muscle head on it. To do this, I recommend you going out and grabbing a load of dire howls uh, until both passives are found. And then what you need to do is just breed them into one dire howl. This is what I did. I went out and I just farmed. I caught about 20 dire howls until I saw uh, ferocious and muscle head pop up between a couple. Bred them together until I had one dire howl with both ferocious and muscle head on it. You don't want any other passive on it, guys, just these two. So once that is achieved, guys, from here, you want to go out and get yourself the world boss of Jet Dragon. Simple as that. You need that Jet Dragon because you need that legend skill. And in regards to our breeding process right here, it's the easiest way to pass on that legend passive skill. So yes, once you have this, guys, you want to breed your Jet Dragon and your Dire Howl together. This guarantees you that Anubis. Now you want to make sure, obviously, that your Anubis is born with the passives of Legend, Ferocious, and Musclehead. You don't want anything else in it, just these three. Obviously, Jet Dragon comes with Divine Dragon. You do not want this to pass down. So obviously, just keep breeding until you get the three passives. Now, once that's achieved, you now want to go out and catch the Alpha World boss of Anubis. This is the only way you can get the passive of Earth Emperor. It's on the world boss Anubis. There's no other way in the game of getting this thing. So yeah, do what you got to do here, guys. You can go out and get the alpha world boss. Now, remember, guys, it needs to be the opposite sex to your own Anubis that you just bred between a Dire Howl and a Jet Dragon. So make sure you get that right too. So now, guys, once you do this, once you've caught that alpha world boss, you want to breed this with your very own Anubis we made. Now obviously the outcome will be an Anubis here, but what you want is for that baby Anubis to have all four passives of Earth Emperor, Legend, Ferocious and Musclehead. This is an absolute must. This is what you need in your life. Now once you've achieved this Anubis with all four passives on it, you want to put this aside and go and catch yourself Suzaku. Now Suzaku isn't the earliest of 
pearls you'll come across in the game. Uh, I think once you get to like a level 40, you'll start coming across these in a little bit of the harder difficulty areas. But what you need to do is go out and get one of these guys, but make sure it has zero passives on it. Or if you do catch it and it has Ferocious or Muscle Head on, that's okay too. But no other passives, just these or zero passives. It's a perfect Suzaku you want. Now, once this is achieved, you want to breed this with your Anubis. This guarantees you that German Tide. Passives really don't matter here as long as they don't revert outside of the four we want. The four on your Anubis. Uh, they are obviously uh, Earth Emperor, Legend, Ferocious, and Musclehead. As long as that German Tide is born with any of these passives and none others, it's completely fine. Now, guys, you want to breed that German Tide with that Suzaku we just caught. This guarantees you a Suzaku Aqua. Passives again here don't matter as long as they don't revert outside of our main four. Again, Earth Emperor, Legend, Ferocious, and Musclehead. Now, guys, once you have that Suzaku Aqua, you now want to breed this with your main Anubis. This guarantees you a Mammarest, and obviously, you just want to keep on breeding these until you get and land all four passives on it. Again, Earth Emperor, Legend, Musclehead, and ferocious now once you do this once you actually breed this mama rest you're halfway there well i say yep yeah, actually you're probably about a third of the way there because you also want to level this bad boy up to a four star rating in that condensation machine this requires you to have a further 116 of those mama rest now Depending on how many times you bred this thing to get the perfect mammoth rest with these four passives, you may be halfway there already. So just continue on breeding those mammoth rest. It doesn't matter about their passives. Let's keep breeding them until you get 116 of them. Once this is achieved, guys, you want to now infuse these into your main mammoth rest user or farming using the condensation machine. This will give you that four star rating and it drastically increases the attack value too, which is what we want here. Then guys, you can further upgrade his attack using the Statue of Power and those Power Souls. So you want to make sure you do this too if you can. Once this is achieved, you are simply good to go. Make sure your Mammoth is a level 50 so he's maxed out. Uh, make sure he's got his saddle obviously so you can ride him. And then guys, you have what in my opinion is probably the best all farming pal in this game outside of that base. It's between this and uh, Astagon. It just is... I prefer this one because of the cooldown on the skill is is quicker so yeah so go get this mammoth guys if you're still playing power i know not many of us are but hey if you're still hanging on i salute you guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one